Creating a causal loop diagram, or CLD, requires finding the main loops in your model and then carefully drawing them again, including the proper polarities, uh, which we'll see here in a second, or the link between adopting and potential adopters, which will be a um, negative polarity. In contrast, with Stella 2.0, you just run the model, choose the CLD view, and then move the link inclusion threshold slider, which is on the bottom on the right-hand side, until you have the desired level of detail in your causal loop diagram. Analyzing a model's behavior over time in terms of the driving feedback loops can be daunting. A combination of experience and removing or isolating loops um, allows you to find the relevant feedback loops as the simulation progresses. In this case, guessing the reinforcing feedback loop is dominating at the beginning, the balancing feedback loop is cut to test this. To present this result, it's necessary to manually highlight that loop in the CLD using line thickness and or color change. Then repeat this exercise at the next point you may feel is important, again highlighting the proper loop in the CLD. This doesn't always end with a definitive answer. Stella 2.0 with loops that matter makes analyzing the model's behavior simple. It dynamically determines which feedback loops are driving the behavior at any point in time and then animates those loops for you in the stock and flow diagram. The area graph in the panel on the right side shows how one or more loops change dominance as the simulation proceeds. And you can look at two, for example, now we're looking at both loops and how they change over time in that right-hand graph. We can now see exactly what is happening at the moment that stumped us earlier, just by dragging back to that particular moment, which is around time nine. We can also view the analysis results as a CLD animating the same CLD we selected earlier. This clearly shows the change in dominance from the reinforcing loop to the balancing loop as the simulation progresses.